For as long as I can remember, I have been captivated by the Old West. I grew up watching Old Westerns with my old man, riding horses and dreaming about the spirit of a cowboy. As I've grown, so has my passion for the good old life. Our world has sure changed, but I know the West lives on for those who know where to find it. My name is Ben Christensen, and I'm living my own Western. For the furrowed brows out there, I know I'm no cowboy, but I like to believe that a man's desire to explore the open country and seek out its simple truths is worthy of one. It's what called me to the heat and dust of the Arizona desert, where the land still speaks of its western heritage. It never ceases to amaze and intimidate me. I feel at home here, and now, I just want to understand why. I may not be a cowboy, but the Old West burns in my heart. Oh. Sometimes, you just gotta pull over and warm up a little bit. Every once in a while, I'll pull over off the highway and my hands get so cold. So I'll shove my hands in the engine or put them on the pipes and just warm them up. It only takes a little bit. You can't hold it too long or you'll burn your glove. Okay, that's all I needed. Let's go. Whenever I find the road, I also find more of the history here. Stories that live on in each of the small towns I ride through. The OK Corral in Tombstone. The world's oldest rodeo in Payson. There's always some claim to fame and a sweltering pride that keeps it all alive. A land of legends. Mm. Okay. We're here in Cave Creek, Arizona. It's one of the most historical streets that has all these old bars, western little towns, but most importantly, I cannot come to Cave Creek without stopping by my good friend, Eric Watson, Watson Hat Shop. What is up? Holy crap. It's hard to find some of those hats that have those old vintage style. Mm -hmm. So once I finally came up here to Cave Creek, they knew not only about the hats that I love, but they taught me more about the history. All you need is one hat. Well, I'm Alex, I'm one of the hat makers here at Watson's Hat Shop. Uh, most of the hats that we make here are mostly 100% beaver fur. So this is what the hats are made out of. Not the overguard, it's not the leather on the bottom, it's the actual fur that's on the belly. So this is our fitting area. Everybody has their own shape, their own uh, measurement. So we measure you to the exact centimeter here, and then more or less like around this area. And then once we get that, this is an original late 1800s. This gives us the exact shape of the head. This is what they did back in the day. This would have been the same process in the late 1800s when you go to a hatter. Okay, there's your head. There it is. There it is. So that's the shape of my head. <laughs> and then from here is 64 steps from this to completion. Very hot. And it just Tight. does that on its, own, on its own. Yes, and it's flattening the fur. Oh, look at that. People think that you add stiffener to the hats to make them yeah. stiff and tough, but no, it's the quality of the fur that you use, which is beaver, okay. and by these tools, using these old techniques, these old tools in the hat. Watson Hat Shop, it's my place. We're cruising.
myself among the lucky. I've allowed my passion for photography to become my profession. And as the years have trailed on, my art has revealed more and more of myself, the deep desires. I find myself composing and capturing the ideals of that brazen figure in the distance, moving across the landscape of his life with the same certainty as the sun rising and falling each day. Constant, true, unfailing. So this is the Palace Bar. It's the oldest bar in Arizona. The fact is I don't drink. I just love the old bar food. Burgers, blue cheeseburgers, fries, meats. It's just all awesome. Doc Holliday used to come here. Wyatt Earp, they used to come and gamble here on the way down to Tombstone. There's even bullet holes in the roof and on the bar in the saloon. The people are great and they're even dressed up and create the whole atmosphere of the Old West. So, lunchtime. There's probably nothing that inspires me more than the people that still live it, the real cowboys. These aren't the people who spend a lot of time explaining or showcasing their way of life to others, but each experience with them is a lesson, an opportunity to see life that's hidden from us, but also right before us. So we're here at Date Creek Ranch. It's one of my favorite ranches to come to, and um, we're here with my good friends Ryan and Savannah. But this ranch is awesome. It's just north, about 20, 30 minutes north of Wickenburg. It's beautiful. Here, here's my buddy Ryan right now. So go, bring the lambs in. Bring the lambs. They put over here. And then where are the lambs in? You just brought them in? Ah, uh, we didn't have them at the time. So you take this, I'm going to walk down. Okay. And I'll bring them up, they'll she walk up to you. And we go wide out here. Come little lemmies. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> yes. My grandfather, he bought the place in 66. And he decided he wanted to buy a ranch and he bought a ranch and I think he did pretty well. He struggled a lot. People don't ranch and do agriculture because they're gonna make a lot of money. It's something you need to have a bit of a passion for. And I think if you have that and you are determined, you'll kind of get through no matter what. I leave home. <laughs> Put me to work. Yeah. Make sure you lift with your back. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just all the nightly chores they do before dinner. So, they're just throwing me in the mix. In front of the lambs? Yeah. Yes. Right here? Yeah, so they have a place to sit tonight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they ate on pasture today, but now they get a free dinner. Life depending on you, it's something that is hard to let go of, even when you're done for the day. Yep. There's lots of stuff to think about all the time. We like to think that we have an unwritten contract with everything that we work with here. It's really rewarding because, I don't know, I, I don't feel alone out here, but sometimes things just die on you and you have no idea why and you worked really hard to figure it out. You stayed up all night. You bought the newest whatever to help them. It's, it's tough. It's really tough, but I have a goal in life. I know I can't change all of the world, but I can do something. Savannah and Ryan have found a way to live the West in a way that speaks to them. The 
It's inspiring, and it gives me hope. You don't have to be a multi-generational rancher to have a legacy in the old frontier. Even today, there's room to find your own Western lifestyle. It's not easy, and you can't fake it. But for those who hear it calling, it's home. My love of the West comes from its unpredictability. Even with so much history under its belt, hundreds of years in fact, this place remains a mystery. But as long as I'm able to, I'm gonna keep exploring, keep seeking answers to this place. It's people. It's the only way I know how to live.